Hello, my name is Liv Onnesen. As a child, I dreamed about exploring and preserving the magical forces of nature. I was encouraged to follow my dream, and as a result, I became the first woman to ski solo and unsupported to the South Pole. In 2000, I teamed up with my American soulmate, Anne Bancroft. When we met, she had followed her own dreams and skied to both the North and the South Pole. As a team, we crossed the Antarctica being the first women ever to do this on skis. We, we're both professional educators and we created a new dream to merge our passions with purpose. Our purpose is to mobile awareness and action amongst young people to save the planet from environmental disaster. Since 2000, we have undertaken five expeditions and communicated with several million students in over 100 countries. Our focus has been dreams, peace, problem solving and clean water challenges. We have strong partnerships with corporations, educational institutions and media. On crossing the Antarctic continent, we generated 2.1 billion media hits by calling CNN every week. This was before the advent of social media. We also communicated with 3 million young people in 116 countries around the world through our Dare to Dream curriculum. October 1, 14, we are launching our most lofty education program so far. We are called this program Access Water. It entails seven expeditions, one on each continent. The purpose is to call attention to the global challenges facing the, the world's freshwater supplies. The first expedition follows the river Ganges from one of its sources in the Himalayas to the Bay of Bengal. The expedition team consists of one woman from each continent, in addition to Anne and myself. All together, eight women. Our aim is to communicate with 50 million young people, both around environmental issues and cross-cultural teamwork. Our time, or our team has a widespread of age, cultural and professional background. We are able to address issues ranging from economics, gender and politics to engineering and more relevant to the issue of fresh water. We will continue our powerful partnerships and social media to help make this possible. During our expeditions, we will be encouraging children to hold up onto important dreams. Dreams about making the world a better place. Involving issues such as how to end starvation, how to create peace, and how to stop pollution. As already mentioned, we will be focusing on water and encouraging young people to do the, to do, do the same and making actions on local issues. We will be reporting on daily basis from what we see of pollution along the Ganges we will also talk about how we function and solve problems as a team. Through our communication, we aim to support our followers in trusting their own dreams and abilities to create change, regardless of circumstances. Children's dreams of a safe and secure world are our hope for the future. We want to give our followers the courage to believe, to believe in and to realize their dreams in order to secure water supplies for millions of deprived people. We need, we need to join forces across countries, professions and the political parties. Anne and I would like to invite you to join us as we embark on this exciting journey. The aim is to mobilize young people all over the world to discover and create solutions to one of the humanity's most impending challenges how to make the dream of fresh water of, on every continent come true. You can read more about the project on yourexpedition.com.